come at last to the Friday that is called improbably but accurately Good Friday. It is the day when God gave all. And that makes the day supremely good for us. It is also the day in which the liturgy that we now celebrate allows God to once again give all, all God has in his power to give, to give himself to us in the suffering Jesus who poured out his love as blood. In recent years, we have stripped Good Friday of its blaming dynamic, the way we used to treat this day, blaming the Jews, the Romans, Judas Iscariot, and thereby evading the reality that Jesus' death was the price he paid for my sins and yours. Nevertheless, we have persisted in seeing the event on the hill of Calvary in only half its light. We have traditionally seen the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross and as a manifestation of God's love for us. That is the right place to start, but there is more. We begin to understand, as far as we can understand, the cross is the manifestation by Jesus of the immense love of God for us. Jesus embraced the pain of his suffering in obedience to his Father's will, giving himself totally, even to death, death on a cross. We have just received that story by hearing the Passion account with total attention. But there is more. We live in a culture which has become very naive about suffering. We think we can avoid it. But COVID-19 has taught us a new lesson. We are inevitably destined to undergo suffering. We cannot avoid it. We have not mastered the world of nature, and we must learn to cope with it. We have learned that we must part with our loved, one, our loved ones when God calls them home. We can hide from it, but we cannot avoid the suffering of grief. The reality is that we do not handle suffering Suffering handles us. That is because life involves pain. Life is hard. Life is hard. And love, living life with love also requires pain. Loving is hard harder for those who tend to think of themselves first, last, and always, Jesus teaches by his death on the cross that love requires sacrifice, the sacrifice of self. When we learn how to enter suffering with acceptance, we learn how to offer it to God with a firm confidence that God treasures our sacrifice as he did the sacrifice of his beloved son, Jesus Christ. That's what Christ manifests on the cross. One of our teachers in the seminary told us that the most surprised person on Easter Sunday was Jesus himself. At one point on the cross, he cried out to his father, Oh God, my God, why have you abandoned me? But in the end, he moaned through parched lips and torturous pain. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. He handed himself over 
to God his Father and our Father, entrusting obedience. He did not see what would come with the light of Easter Sunday's dawn, but he trusted that his suffering was not in vain. We receive his glorified body in Holy Communion in the hope that we, he will let us see a glimmer of that light from Easter resurrection even now. Jesus' manifestation that we must accept our losses as he accepted his suffering, the lesson we most often miss on Good Friday, goes hand in hand with the manifestation of the renewal that comes after loss. In these days of worldwide pandemic, we share the suffering of the whole world. For once, no one escapes the fear that comes with this confrontation with death. We must trust that if we see deeply below the surface of things, we will learn what the light of Christ manifests. One of these deeper learnings is this. The structure of our day-to-day -day walk with Christ is marked by loss and renewal. It is not the death that comes at the end that we must be afraid of. We cannot, came, we cannot change the hour of our death, nor the shape that death will take. We, we can shape is our response to the daily deaths that come with day-to-day -day living. We can embrace the daily deaths that come from our confrontation with our own egocentricity, greed, hatred, the impulse to seek revenge, and just plain laziness, trusting that God sees our weakness forgives it, and helps us to rise from it. After every loss, if we face it with acceptance, resurrection comes as a gift. We may have to wait to see it, but that's where trusting faith comes in, the kind that Jesus had on the cross when he said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. We know that Easter comes after Good Friday. Resurrection comes after death. Even the daily deaths that are part and parcel of walking with this, uh, as disciples with Jesus. Renewal comes after trusting self-sacrifice. Jesus has manifested on the, the cross in Calvary. In the darkness of three o'clock on Good Friday, that light shines bright.